Hey folks, so I wasn't really planning on doing a video today and well I don't know if this is even going to be an interesting video but I, I, I came home, just got home off, off work, saw that there was a package sitting on my doorstep. Um, now this is from DHL, this is something I did order and this is something I was expecting. Uh, I'm just a little bit nervous about this so I, I, I'm actually filming more for for my own liability because I bought something kind of expensive and then I found five other auctions with the exact same pictures so let's see what I get try not to dox myself either I don't think there's any information on here. So this is um, this is something I got from Yahoo Auctions. I like that. It's cute. And it is supposed to be a limited edition Rayquaza Game Boy Advance SP, albeit with some damage. It's not an undamaged unit. And holy shit! That's it. I, I, <laughs> I didn't expect that. That's, uh, <laughs> I fully expected it to be one of these pieces of garbage. But this looks, I mean, it's certainly what I ordered. Or is it? Hang on, get a closer look at this. So unfortunately the art on the cover is pretty much worn off. Um, you can see an impression where it used to be, kinda, I don't know, I'll have to take a picture on that. But it's still there on the inside. You can see how ridiculous the reproduction one is. <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, there's, there's some damage to this, like notably the um, D-pad around the A and B buttons, um, the uh, art on the cover is pretty much worn off. And the biggest thing, there's a, uh, there's something missing. I'm not quite sure what, but holy fuck, I did not expect that to work. It looks like it has been taken apart, unfortunately, but I mean, I guess that makes sense because there's nothing broken off in there. There's just nothing in there. I mean, there's a console at least, but and my cat is upset with something. It does boot? It does have a working front light? No, I'm kidding. Like I just said, I just got home, and he just wants my attention, which I'll give it to him in a few minutes. Found an issue already. I don't see any issue in there, but it's not reading my game. Let's try... That's not going to work. That barely works on my other consoles. Oh, okay, so maybe it just isn't reading the cart. Well, it seems to work. One thing I can't really test are the shoulder buttons, but I got an idea for that. Hang on. Normally I would just use my uh, test cart, but it's not reading that for some reason. Well, it boots Game Boy Color, so that's nice. And to an extent, that works. You reach in there and press it. 
I guess I just gotta open it up and put some buttons in there. A, uh... I mean, I have a drawer full of them, so... Shouldn't be too big a deal. Let's do that right now. Fuck it. Whew, man. Oh, I'm so relieved. I paid... When all's said and done, 110 bucks for this. Which, I know sounds like a lot for a Game Boy Advance SP, but when you look at the prices... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kitty Cat. But when you look at the prices, it's uh, actually a really good price. These things, even in this condition, tend to go for about 100 more than that. That looks kind of swollen. It's okay. Oh, man. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. You'd think I'd know this by now. It's this one. Why are you knocking shit off my desk, bud? Whatever, it's just a pen. So, yeah, literally no idea why that's missing. It is definitely missing. It's not broken, because where's the uh, metal peg? If it were broken, the metal peg would still be in there. That's so fucking weird. Why would someone take this apart to remove the shoulder button? Obviously, it's dusty in there. This is just an old toothbrush, nothing to... No cleaning agents, no isopropyl alcohol. Just getting out all the dust. Actually, you know what? While I have this apart, I should totally take the opportunity to uh, clean the power switch and all the buttons. Normally, I absolutely trust myself enough to uh, do this within the shell, but on such a rare, expensive color, I am just going to remove the motherboard. Yeah, this thing is great. I don't see, I mean, aside aside from a, some dust, I don't see any issues with that. Oh, what are you knocking over now? It's terrorizing my apartment. And I don't even care, I'm in such a good mood right now. Especially after all the negativity people keep saying being negative in my videos because I'm calling out someone for lying about their products, but that's it's a very different video and I'm definitely not butthurt about that. Oops. Well, it worked, didn't it?
not great. Not too bad though. Oh, where's my purple? Would you believe that it was right next to me the whole time? Alright, here's a before. I'm gonna do one more pass, but there's an after. All that gunk came off. I have never seen him hop up on that to play. I have a sideways desk in my kitchen because I was going to get rid of it, but decided not to sell it during a pandemic. Didn't want to just throw it out either, you know? My cat is right on top of it. I know you love that noise. bend these a little bit into an M shape, or I guess a W with how I'm holding it. It does make it a little bit more difficult to reapply, but once it's applied, the idea is that it applies a little bit more downward pressure. And hopefully keeps the switch mechanism nice and tight. I want very tight. Tight like a twigger. What now? good time with this. There we go. This new soldering iron tip is really nice. I wish I had grabbed one of these years ago. Oh, you can't take that. Good lord. Okay. I guess someone really wants my attention. Oh, that is such a nasty looking joint. Little bit of flux. Clean my iron. Let's try that again. That is so much better looking. Okay. All right, and I should take the time to clean these, but I kinda don't want to. Ugh. Yeah, I really should. All right, I'm gonna take five and go clean these. I'm just going to uh, 
shoot, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to try just a dry toothbrush. Using isopropyl alcohol on these shells is not a good idea because it does tend to eat into the paint. Not much, mind, but I'd rather not do that if I don't have to. tell this thing's been open for a while. Look at the finish on that button. I don't know why it was like that. That just, that makes no sense to me. If anyone has any explanation, I, I, I'd love some, uh, love some advice on that. Anyway, I'll be back. I'm just gonna give this a once over. All right, I have paid sufficient attention to the cat. I have cleaned buttons and membranes with soap and water, and I have done my best to clean up the top and the bottom of the shell uh, without using cleaning supplies. <laughs> um, I mostly just sat here with a plastic spudger, um, breaking up all the hard pieces of dust and then just going, going to town with my toothbrush, and it seemed to work really nicely. Um, Still got a lot of cleanup to do in the battery compartment, but that's easy enough to get to without taking it apart, so I'll save that for later. Um, buttons are still a wee bit wet, but we're just we're just gonna send it. It's gonna be good. No, I'm kidding. They're dry enough that they'll evaporate within the system without causing any damage because of these membranes. These membranes will seal it away from the PCB. And quite frankly, I'm probably going to be taking this apart again in a couple weeks. I mean, I'm obviously going to backlight this thing. Obviously. One thing, if you're uh, ever looking at membranes, trying to tell if they're OEM or aftermarket, um, you can always tell the OEM AGS membranes from the aftermarket ones, because the OEM ones have little numbers around the sides. Uh, like this one has a Roman numeral two, there's a zero down here, I think that's a six, and then a one down here. I don't know specifically what the numbers mean, but I have never seen an aftermarket membrane with any of those numbers. And all of the membranes have it. You see this one, 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 three. Uh, this one has Roman numeral one, and then an eight, and a two, and a four. And then this last one is 288, Roman numeral one, and that's the only number I see. But yeah, they always have numbers on them, so it's relatively easy to tell. Uh, the screen has seen better days. I don't know what happened there. I'm just gonna wipe it off on my shirt. Eh. It's probably fine. I'm not worried about it. I have a stack of these AGS-001 screens. But from all the backlight mods. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's stripped. What happened here? Pretty sure that wasn't me. 
I'll have to review the footage. Someone's been in here. I have to slam my desk now. I mean, I am filming on top of a laptop. It's not an iPad, but. Just kidding, I already knew someone's been in here. Otherwise it wouldn't have been missing that shoulder button. Speaking of, let's get that remedied. So I have a box full of mostly aftermarket, but also some OEM parts. Uh, conveniently enough, I have the dark gray shoulder buttons right here. Let's see if I have some better ones though, because that's kind of... No, I do not. I'm going to have to pull them from another Game Boy. That's okay. I'm going to use... Great. Both my left ones are in good shape. It's my right one that's all fucked up. Um, I'm going to use this left one instead of the one that was in there. Because these are out of a matching set. And the wear on them is similar. Aside from a particularly nasty scar. What am I doing? There we go. On the right button. But I did also clean this, I think. Yeah. So, good enough. Now these springs are not universal. One goes on the left, one goes on the right, so hopefully I grabbed the correct one. I did not grab the correct one. That is the correct one. Hey, look at that. It has a button now. <laughs> Just got a happy little GBA here. Our happy little power switch. We have a ton of water in it still. Nice and good now. Thanks to the power of canned air. And a little square nut fell out. So let's pop that bad boy back in. You just gotta be careful not to lose your nut. It's a, it's a real tragedy when that happens. I love how the OEM shells go together. It's always so smooth. Seems the cat has seen through my clever ruse. <sighs> okay, one more step. I'm gonna put this garbage back in because, well, it's bulging. Um, Let's do a 
Where's my battery? That's not it. I'm gonna have to make another one. Or it's in here. Let's find out. It's in here. Alright. Notice how easy that was to remove. And how easy it was to insert. No. No unusual force required. I don't give a shit. I mean, because I will uh, totally dispose of that responsibly later, and later is not now. Uh, did I forget to plug in the screen? No there's a light. Oh no. We're not done. I done did fucked up. Or maybe harken back to the good old days five minutes ago when I said, oh, it's probably fine. Referring to that damage on the screen ribbon. Because spoiler alert, it wasn't fine. Wait, is it still a spoiler if it happen if it's if it's afterwards? No, I don't think that's how that works. Well, I definitely plugged it in. Let's try reseating it. one hand without making a mess. Eh, good enough. A little bit of the good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, gravity is still in effect. Seated. When testing, it's a good idea to put in all three screws instead of just the one center screw. Because this way you can actually press all the buttons. There we go.
Ooh, I think I cross-threaded that one. So I'm trying to move too quick. I'm eager to play with it. There we go, that one went smooth. Oh, I'm getting some. Trying to get ahead of myself. Battery just clicked into the place. I didn't actually fully insert it. There we go. Now it's nice and flush. And this game always gives me trouble. Let's see if it works. Yeah, still not working here. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, screw it. Hey, now my test cart works. My shoulder buttons clearly don't. Try holding them extra hard. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do some more uh, work on the shoulder buttons in this thing. More than likely I'm just going to swap out the AGS 001 PCB for one that is working perfectly and then fix this, put it in another console. Um, Mostly because I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I'm probably going to put an IPS screen in this thing, let's be honest. But beyond that, I don't want to go crazy modding it. Sticker is, looks like someone started peeling it off. I have, oof, I have the piece de, piece de resistance. Oh, I have to go get it. I think I used that term wrong. I don't think that's the right term for what I was looking for. I have Ooh, I wish I used the spudger instead of this because spudgers are more flexible. Not original, but the only way to get an original sticker is to buy one of these with an original sticker. So good enough for me. Uh, and I actually have. I never used that. I forgot about it. So there's a 101. These are all cheapo generic stickers. I think this is the wrong baggie. This is the wrong baggie. Well, these are in the wrong baggie. This is the bag I wanted. Oh, but there's not one in here. I can already see that. Okay, well, I don't have a... I don't have a good sticker for this. Unless I want to put a 101 sticker on it, but... That's not right. It's not a 101. Alright, well, that's all I got for today. 
I'm so stoked about this thing, man. Ugh. I fully expected it to be a, uh, a fake. So I'll throw a um, I'll throw a link down in the description, the auction that I got. Normally I, I wouldn't do this, mostly because I don't want to give away my auction site secrets. But I just want to show you the auction that I bought, and then the other four auctions that I found. Um, so that if you guys see auctions with those pictures, you know that you're not getting what's pictured. Because I I have it. <laughs> you're not, I'm, I'm not selling this. I'm not planning on selling it. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description. And uh... I'm gonna finish putting these stickers away. Sticky boys. Spoiler alert for future projects, but you know. Never actually put these away, so might as well. Might as well do that now. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's do one more thing. I say that, and I know a few of you aud audibly groaned, but feel free to turn off the video. And you stick around, I appreciate it. You don't have to. I love you. <sighs> okay. So, let's talk about spotting a fake one of these. Because I now have a legit one and a fake one. I can directly compare the two. Um, so, the biggest thing on the fake ones is the color. Alright, that's the first thing I notice. Um, I, I noticed that from the listing itself. I didn't even have to get one in, in hand to know that the color was wrong. Um, it's way too light. The texture's wrong. I always thought there was something weird about these with the, with how the texture is because normally these consoles have a, um, texture kind of like that. Uh, let me grab, I have two, is that, oh, that's aftermarket. Okay, so I have one AGS 101 shell. And I'm just going to put these side by side and just see how the light reflects differently on both of them. You can see the texture, the light is much more diffused on this one because this is a much more matte texture, whereas this is high gloss. I. The pictures always freaked me out. I always thought, you know, that's that's so weird. I've never seen an SP that looks like that. Well, apparently these do. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the biggest thing right now, because I've seen at least three different models of these shells, um, the biggest thing, all three of them are coming with the wrong color hinge caps. So if you see one with dark gray hinge caps, it's probably fine. If you see one with the matching color, that's not fine at all. These were never made with the matching color hinge caps. Uh, another thing you can look for is uh, the artwork. Apparently it tends to rub off pretty easily. Um, but on the inside especially, the uh, Rayquaza art is... Uh, well, it doesn't look nearly as derpy. Maybe that much. The print quality on this one is actually sharper, but with that eye there and the slight smile in the mouth, it just... it, it looks kind of ridiculous. The real one has fangs. This one doesn't. This one's just... Hey guys! Play some Pokemon! Um... I don't know. And then other signs of typical reproductions like on this one not all molds have this but you can see the speaker grill all the holes are roughly the same size on a legit SP the four middle ones should be noticeably bigger um, but not they should still be round I have seen other aftermarket molds uh, like this one's actually pretty good that one looks that one looks legit I mean obviously it's not but it looks better than that. Uh, 
I don't have... Yes, I do. It's that one I was just throwing around. I uh, haven't reshelled this yet, but it's okay. We can still look at it. That. Bad. No. That's bad. <laughs> that looks terrible. I excused it on this shell because of the fully sick art on it. The custom art. Um, another thing, if you look at the font on the buttons, it's clearly different. And last but not least, I never bothered wasting one of my expensive stickers on this one. Um, this sticker is totally wrong. The AGT model number is for AGS 101 consoles, not AGS 001. Double, oh, what, yeah. I don't know why that confused me. So, also this style sticker with the the, the, um, the barcode. This is a U.S. sticker. Japanese stickers didn't have a barcode. So, and if you don't believe me, C A G S J P N. CAGT USA. This sticker is based on an AGS, a US AGS 101 sticker, except they changed the model number and for some reason the battery model number to D03 instead of 003. But anyway, yeah. Hope that helps. I'm super stoked. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It still definitely needs more cleaning and I guess I'm going to do a follow up video on the shoulder button because. I can't really get it working. Um, maybe that's why it was removed. Um, maybe it just needs to be cleaned. Maybe it needs to be replaced. I don't know, but we'll explore together. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Sorry. One more. Let's. I didn't test full functionality. Let's see if it charges. Lights on. That means there's power. No. Port's not the greatest, is it? It works, but yeah, so um, I don't know, maybe this motherboard's getting converted to USB-C and like I said, I'll just swap it into another, swap in another AGS-001 motherboard or since I have a perfectly working OEM port from another board, I can swap that on, but hey, at least it, functionally it works, could be better but it works. Anyway, I'm done. I gotta go play with this and the other new hardware I got today. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the flippity flip or something like that. I don't know.